Hey guys, it's Quincy, here with another Zombie Army 4 Dead War video, and I just downloaded the Left 4 Dead DLC, and just wanted to show you guys what characters that comes with, what they look like, and what their like special abilities are, and then I wanted to jump into a horde mode and try that out because I haven't tried that yet so we're on the switch OLED which I am loving we're gonna do a local horror mode let's pick uh, let's try this one and then easy cuz I suck at this game create game and then here I believe you can change your there we go you can change your character go down to characters all right so this is one of the these are the um, left for dead characters um bill overkill requires fewer kills to charge empty lung costs less stamina increased critical hit chance on long range shots but he has slower health regeneration francis special melee attacks charge faster improved melee but slower movement Lewis, takedowns require kill, fewer kills to charge, increased melee damage resistance, increased uh, bleed out time when damaged, but no health gain from divine items or weapons. Zoe, brain buster requires fewer kills to charge, sprinting costs less stamina, faster movement, but weaker melee, Coach, combo, timer increased, increased grenade damage radius, but slower stamina percentage. Ellis, weapon focus requires fewer kills to charge, increased trap damage radius, but less bullet damage resistance. Nick, medkits also fill health overcharge. Increased divine damage and healing, less explosive damage resistance. And Rochelle. Elemental weapon upgrades charge faster, increased bullet damage resistance, but less melee damage resistance. And yeah, that's the last one. These are other paid DLC characters. The Left 4 Dead DLC is a free download. You just go to the eShop, you can download that for free. So let's pick, uh, let's pick Lewis. He looks cool. And then I'm good with my loadout. So let's go done, done. And. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah, so I'm not very good at games, but I really enjoy them, so I usually play things on easy mode. The OLED just looks awesome. Let's see, it's in this crate. Oh, I got a med kit. I figured out how to use med kits. So that should be good. And I've never played uh, Ford mode, so I'm gonna see how this goes. I don't even know where they're going to come from. Oh, there we go. What the hell? 
I'm gonna switch my weapon, maybe. Can I? Oh, shit. I only have one weapon? What the? I'm gonna get more ammo, but... Why do I only have one weapon? I don't think I can have any enemies I don't. Maybe slur them over to this thingy. Excellent. Uh, oh, all right, that wasn't so bad. I don't understand why I only have one weapon though. Let me know in the comments if that's how it usually works in board mode or if I did something wrong. Cause this is not the weapon I probably would have picked if I only had one weapon. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a little stressful. Use a night kit. Oh, did I already use it? Crap. I'm sure you can see why I don't play on any higher difficulty. Oh shit. Recharges your health. I'm 
Look at those skulls. Headshots? I don't know where on these arm armored guys I'm supposed to aim for. I assume they're head, but it doesn't really seem to be working so well. Oh, these are just the la the heads are just like the last guys standing. How many more zombies I have left to kill? So I just got two left. And they're both this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oh. Is another way? New ammo. Oh, for sure didn't see that guy. Locked in a corner. Oh my goodness. Am I on fire? Wait, the ammo moved? Come on now. Oh no. No, I don't have ammo. Or another gun. So I'm gonna stop the video here. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.